Ahoy, ahoy! Welcome to another one of my videos. Um, this is the third of a series of uh, the Doom Patrol slip custom slip ca slip cases that I built. Um, so I'll look up. Uh, I will, by the by the time you're watching this, you'd already be uh, you'd already have watched the uh, other two. Um, so uh, if you haven't uh, sub done so, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. You know that helps with the whole algorithm thing. So anyway. This is the third Doom Patrol omnibus. It's uh, the Grant Morrison one. This directly connects to the first uh, two omnibus. So basically, if um, you have the Silver Age omnibus, that's the very first run, and that's a uh, complete run. And and then you get the Bronze Age, which uh, collects everything uh, after, but just before the Grant Morrison omnibus, then. Uh, once you have all three, you have a straight run. And then when the uh, Rachel Pollack omnibus gets released uh, mid-late October, that's another straight run from Volume 1 to Volume 2. So basically, uh, Grand, uh, rather Doom Patrol Volume 2 is covered by three Omnis. That's how huge that run is. So this is... Um, let's uh, take a look at the omnibus first. So... This is this is a fairly a popular um, run because when Omnis were first you know being sold, um, this was the only Doom Patrol omnibus available, and this was an earlier printing with the original Vertigo logo here. So, yeah, um, this collects everything that uh, it's a really thick book. See, it's it's one of the thickest that uh, they've made. So yeah, it's a hundred fifty dollar book, um, and it's evergreen a lot. It's had a lot of printings. You can still get it today, but uh, you'll get get it with the new DC logo instead of the vertical one, obviously. So the slipcase. This is a promotional image Richard Case did. I think it's for the uh, who who's who DC who's who book. Uh, this is this was originally a scan that I had to edit because the scan was just wasn't didn't look right with the it's too gray so I had to edit that um, yeah and it had to edit the curves too just to make the colors look right um, I didn't this was an um, alternate logo so I didn't remove it and this is the other side this is another promotional image basically except that I had to edit out the background and put the if you're keen eyed you notice that this is the um the ant farm that was in one of the Doom Patrol issues that fe featured the hmm. yeah the ant farm in the comics is very different from the ant farm on the TV series if you haven't read this you should it's a lot weirder than the and it had the oh yeah well it also has the uh, fairly complete lineup here. You have Josh Clay here. Um, yeah, although of course you have the three main ones. And then you have the Doom with the Spine, which I also use that same logo, but without the the, because it's not part of the title. So Doom Patrol, and this is the Simon Bisley art that was on the same issue. This is actually the reason why I use this is because aside from being one of my most favorite um, Doom Patrol images, it is the very first Doom Patrol issue I ever owned. I got it from a trade. I traded it with a friend. It looked great. And yeah. And that kind of started my uh, Doom Patrol fan being a Doom Patrol fanboy. <laughs> um, okay. And that's it. Let me just put it this back. And that's your look at the Doom Patrol uh, custom slipcase. Um, so after this video, I'm going to be uploading one more uh, featuring the John Byrne um, uh, slipcase. So stick around for that. Uh, subscribe. And until the next video, be good.